All right, KJ, is everything okay? Reggie sounded like a little bit panicked today. I'm not going to lie. Everything okay with Pharma? Everything is okay. Um, yeah. The last thing, I had a little conversation with OTT. He was, uh, seems like, not happy with how I organize things, and he wants to switch it up. I told him to talk to you guys and tell me what you want. But what does OTT... Huh? I'm t what happened? Uh, apparently it's according to the money we're dragging in and how i'm using the money where the money is going and he want that money for slice crew to get a house so they can clean more or whatever i don't know apparently you guys are paying for the house and everything okay so what happened well what happened we had a little discussion i said you know like if he needs money he needs to speak up about it or whatever it's the second or third time ott comes to me with whatever slides and their group are doing and he wants me to change up or help or whatever i said we're one company of course you know we can help oh, out, yeah, but course. i need to pay i think i know what you're talking about i need yeah. to pay people who have been using their own money you know into the farm as well that was the agreement i have with you guys and okay. If you guys feel like I'm wasting too much money or where the money goes, I have everything written down. So you can all check it if you want to. Mm, I, so okay. Apparently, he need that money for that shit. And then he said I should pay my growers in rolls. I said, if that's the case, you guys can fucking take it over. I can start pushing and you guys can run the shit. <laughs> then I said, uh, you have a nice day. And I walked away. Okay. Don't you think that's a little bit of a rough reaction, KJ? Come on. I don't know. Like, if you want to tell me how i should run my shit or whatever like i'm i'm fine with that but then you take it over and uh, and i just start pushing he says that kj kj please what come on what that's a bit of a rough reaction come on now i i agree no, here I'm, I'm not gonna lie i mean i do understand that when when you've been doing something for so long it's someone who's supposed to be your boss comes out of nowhere and tells you how to run what you've been doing this whole time i do understand it it, it pricks a little bit right but He's only he's he's only meaning the best probably by it. You know, I don't I don't probably I'm 100% with you, but and and he said, you know, he he didn't come from a position where he's like telling me I need to do something, but I, I'm telling you right away like if I need to start to pay my growers in rolls, they will stop growing. It's the reason why I have the system I have to make it easy because we did that in the beginning and it, it became a shit show. So I'm all fine and Danny with whatever you guys want me to do. Like, I work for you guys, you know, uh, in the end of it. And I work for him as well. I understand that. But I'm, I'm looking out for the people I'm working with as well, you know. I'm in between. Okay. You guys are my bosses, but I have people, you know, who works for us or me. Yeah, but, but KJ, you know that, like, putting down... That's pretty much putting an ultimatum and then you're going to fuck his head up. And you already know that the whole board has an enormous amount of respect for you. And then that's pretty much like saying, oh, fuck you. I ain't doing that shit if you got to do it that way. And then you know that's going to make people uncomfortable with giving you a fucking order. And then it's going to be left on me to just tell you what to do. And then if I get pissed off and then you get pissed off, then no, nothing gets done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, wrong. Jesus fucking Christ. Can you take it easy on that shit? Because listen. He's just trying to make some moves where we end up making money, okay? And he's just frust he's probably frustrated okay. because we have moving parts that are not contributing towards each other. And it's just not, it's not Pharma alone. It's the same shit with fucking cleaning. Same shit with moonshine. People don't understand that we need to be supporting each other because frankly, it has all started with everybody trying to one-up each other and see... Who can run the best department? Low key. No, 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 no. I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I, I know that we are generating more money because of the field we're in. I mm -hmm. understand that our money needs to be used for what, you know, utilize the best for the company. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm not stupid, you know? Yeah. I understand. But, mm, Jay, now, are, are, are he, is he with the company now? Can I speak freely? No, you can. Or? It's fine. It's fine. Jay did part of Black okay. Ops now, so he listen to like, but it's a random shit that we do yeah i have no i have understanding if you come to me and talk to me benji you ray as well mickey or ott like i have no issues at all you guys are my boss end of story at the same time i will say and do what i'm doing maybe i'm a little bit harsh sometimes but i will still do it you know and if you guys <laughs> tell me to do something i don't agree with it i'm like i gotta be honest with you 
then find somebody who can run it better the way that I'm running it. You know, if you guys want to switch up my operation and how I do shit. Uh, if I'm stepping on toes or doing too much or you're wasting the money, you feel like on something. <laughs> tell me. Uh, but I was under the impression and the agreement with you guys were we paid off people and everything belongs to the company in the end of it. If we are short of money on some parts and we need the money we're generating, I can hold off to pay people back. I agree with that. And we use, utilize the money where we should do it. But there's one more thing here that I want to, I didn't say to OTT, but I, I will probably want the meeting with you all because from a PM to another PM, if another PM needs something from me, I hope the PM can be open enough and have the balls enough to come to me and say, hey, we're one, you know, we're one company. I need something from you. Can you help me? Now we'll do it. Oh, fuck. I need to talk to KJ oh, later. But if I'm going to talk to you, Benji, and let you go and do all my fucking work to all the other fucking entities, I think they wouldn't like it as well because you're speaking on my behalf. That's what I feel right now. And I don't know if I'm, uh, you know, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Maybe like every, everybody does everything from the best interest, but yeah. Wait, what may I about. ask KG, what, what did happen? Well, I feel like I'm missing some context. So he came to you and said he wanted you to start paying all your workers and roll bills? Uh, no, the, the conversation started a couple of days before where we agreed on getting Sly and his crew to clean the money. It cleaned approximately $100,000 of our money in rolls. The rest of okay. the money we have cleaned ourselves because we invested in some machines and got the people to use the money for it. Right. He came and said that the 10% they, they made the deal with is too low. I agree with him. He wanted to have cheaper prices on the, on the weed on the street, basically, to push. I said, I think that's a bad idea, you know? Like, they can upcharge, you know, the prices on what they're cleaning instead. Because I was waiting for that, you know, to 20, like, this street price. Do you agreed. know why he wanted the cheaper prices of weed? Uh, because he, the runners who are running the cleaning operation are not making any money, basically, of 10%. I kind of like, that's agreement. He thought, like, going They're around making, that was better. The runners better not to... making money off cleaning 10%? Okay. Okay, okay. so if I give them $100,000 in rolls, they okay. need to clean the rolls, you know, wash them, Which and then do the, the money, business. Right? Yeah, that's ten thousand dollars. You need right. a six-man crew to run it, so it's dog shit payment, you know, for the crew. I hundred percent agree with that. If you're gonna pay six people of ten, like ten percent is ten thousand dollars. If you're gonna pay ten people for it, like you're doing all this risky for like a thousand dollars. Nobody wants to do that, you know. Mm, okay, I mean, uh, yeah, I I understand your perspective, but he's the one that's helping Sly who's running the cleaning business and you're saying that they they don't feel like they I mean I feel like they've just been a little bit overworked and then they just clean two hundred fifty thousand dollars for the company and uh, we yeah, didn't pay probably. them we didn't, we didn't pay them a single dollar for that so I mean I feel like you gotta think you gotta consider that right now I know what yeah, it is maybe you guys don't pay anything but we pay you know for our stuff if that makes sense right, right. but the reason that we didn't pay is because OTT promised them a is, is something I'm supposed to say here? With, is Jaden okay to hear this? Jaden, can you just step away for a second, Jaden? Yeah, like, yeah, thank you. Okay, this is kind of important. I didn't want to say this in front. It, OTT promised them a literal other home where they can set up an entire other washing operation for the yep. company. That's why he's cleaning <clears throat> the money right now because that money is going to go directly into the home. You, you know about this, Benji, right? We talked about this. I, think for I don't know about this. Then okay. to get the so other you, home, they need I don't our know money. What we are generating, why didn't they you know. Tell you about that. This is the thing. I don't understand. I don't. There's why the fuck here. is there problems between us? Like this is so simple. What the fuck just, is lie, man? Like, no, it just seems like there's a little bit of miscommunication because this is there's something that I was told. This is something I was told, guys, on Thursday before I left. I was told this by Sly and OTT. Wagwan Benji, so Sly, me can that, you can you come to a, an urgent meeting in Polito? I'm so confused about cleaning and fucking pharma and it's so me ray and kj here let's can we clear it up real quick all right on the way okay okay it's we're by the bench let me ping you what's your ping bit, you know i don't know overwork my ping is this is why this is why I told two three six a wag one my g Fuck, we should be sending you, you down don't there, bro. Know. you don't know you don't know all right see you later okay 
No, 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 but I agree with that. And that's why I told as well when he OTT asked me to get cheaper prices on the baggies. And I said, instead of that, bring it up to the street value, you know? $20,000 for Vols, $15,000 for Watch Cash, you know? That right. is the street price right so now. This is something Tell we, boys we need to, to have do, a conversation we can about, give Benji. it to our own boys. Yeah. Benji, listen, they cleaned $250,000 for the company, all of our money, at 0%. Listen, at the end of the day, I understand it's great. It, for us, it's fantastic. But those boys are going to get burned out if they're making zero money mm -hmm. and only being promised things like homes and stuff like that when the home is not coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen, no, but can, can I clear something end, up, KJ? One second, one second. Yeah. So, KJ, yeah. you're not angry at people needing money. You're angry no. that people no. try to change your system to get the money, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, that's simple. I understand everything I generate is not my money. It's your money. It's yeah. company money. Okay. If the company needs the money, I give whatever money it is. The only problem I have with the whole shit is like, I owe people. People use $50,000 of their own saving to pay for shit and I repay them back when we generate the money in, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole thing here, but I feel like like this is a small issue. Like, it. it vacuum in a glass you know what i mean like it, there is no issue but we just need to get everything on the table clear it up and move on you know mm. uh, eating got heated because it was in the end he said something in the line of we should get all the clean money give it to the company and the growers should get paid in rolls and then i basically yeah put my foot down and said that will not happen you know when i'm working here if that's gonna change uh somebody else take over i just start pushing okay uh, maybe it's a little bit too heated from me as well, uh, but yeah, that's what I said. But I think it's like he's stressed to make sure they get the house so they can start up the cleaning operation. I'm down to help them out if they need money, because the money I'm generating is your money. Okay. Do you, so, do you Sly, see where I'm no, from? I know, I know, I know. Sly is on the way down here right now, and then we're just gonna clarify what every project manager is handling, and then me and Ray, mm -hmm. since we're two of us right now, bored. We're just going to confirm if this is on the right path, yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good name. Can you join Jaden for a second, KJ, please? I just need to talk to Ray. Yeah. Okay. Listen. KJ is a little bit crazy, okay? Like, that's... That was uh I know like, like a little bit a little bit concerning to bend an entire... Uh, he, no, he's he's because... always He's always been like this, though. So it's not a personal thing, you know? Yeah, no, I understand that. It's more like, like a you know, Scandinavian thing. Me, you know. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. He's always been like this. I had to threaten him one time. But I don't know if we do that in the company. You know what I mean? Who is the third guy right there? That's Sly. Okay. So let's talk to right. him, Sly, and then know where the fuck everybody stands so nobody's fucking confused. And then we can chip in. Where the fuck is Perez? What is that shit-ass moonshine project doing, bro? This is your fault, you know, right? What the fuck is it my fault? Because I go away for three no, days? No, 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 no. Because you see, all of the, the like, Perez supposed to be one of the Bastion's beacon of light. Fucking erping with a cop. No way to be seen in the last brother, two days. Brother, actually, actually, hold on. Aren't you the motherfucker that started that relationship? Bro, You're I... You're the one no, that told him I to did go not, distract the police officer. Yeah, I did. And they got into a relationship because I of me. did. Well, the technique... And you're putting that on me? The That's technique he crazy. used is That's from crazy. you. That's crazy. Bro, I said go check on the cop. That's not crazy. go create... <laughs> not create a relationship with her and have sex with her. <laughs> the fuck? I said distract the cop, not fucking raise her up. Motherfucker, <laughs> you told him... You told Perez. I told Perez. him... Perez. Go and distract the cops, not go fuck her. What the fuck? <laughs> Motherfucker went all in. He started a family with her, Bro, man. He's good. At, he's good. He started, he's good at listening he to started, he he's started good a family shit. with her, man. Oh, shit. He's good at listening, man. <laughs> <laughs> you said, problem is you said distract. You didn't tell him how long, you know? <laughs> Slide, guys. Guys, come, come. Let's talk. Sorry, the, the area is a little bit shit, but we're just in case, you know, manners around. We're going to search for them in 
in Polito and shit. They got a grow house up here. They grow house in the in the potential I have another grow house slide. It is by aunties and forum, okay? Oh, that's easy to sneak out. Exactly, okay. exactly. It's just go in the church, you can see all the houses there. Okay, so what's going on with uh cleaning right now? It's like how what's the what's the issue? Any issues, any problems? How does it all work? What are the uh, percentages? First off, there's no issues. Um, obviously, some things just changed. We're already on top of that. We're cleaning over a hundred and something K a day. Um, recently, what we did was we took all of company's money and we put that in front as prioritization. That was around almost 300 K. Yesterday, we cleaned all of that. Um, I gave you earlier like 225 or some shit like that. The and I have to yeah. give OTT 88. Um, we're buying everybody's roles and stuff again. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of pricing, 20% for the rolls and 15% for the wash cash. 20,000 for rolls, 15% for wash cash is how much all of us pay you? As in personally, yes. Personally. What about if it's like company heist money? Um, I think we could come up with something with that. But uh, it, it all depends, right? Because... If the company is hoarding a shit ton of money and then they give it to me in one shot, that puts everybody, um, like the whole entire thing on hold because it's going to be like 100, 200 K and then, just, you know, okay. Okay. I need, I need to know how does the, other than cleaning the money for us, right? How do you generate money for us as in like new money? You know what I'm saying? Do we, does the company itself get a cut from your current? a setup well oh. as of right now no because my setup itself is from me and me only or my boys i should say it's not okay. like the company put in anything towards that if okay. the company is providing some shit like that then obviously we could do that but... i feel like sly that should happen right but my only problem is that you would need to be in a completely new house where you move all the stuff in right is that correct that was the plan yeah. So is that still the plan right now? Well, um, I spoke to OTT and he was saying that as of right now, after the change and the amount of money that could be clean within a day, let's see how things go for a little bit and see if it can keep up. And let's say we can't keep up, then we're going to get the house as in a company um, cleaning house and we go from there. But for right now, we're just using my house as the main cleaning house. Yeah, because you, he's basically you, saying that he wants to dedicate money towards like the butt coin stuff for now, and then mm -hmm. we deal with the other stuff. You, you, you get what yeah. I'm you get what I'm trying to get here, Ray. Like it's so confusing. When does it become instead of a sly and friends thing, it becomes a full on company thing, right? But you need we need to provide them the money, in which he can he can make up a house and all that well, he's paid I for the washers. That's okay. Here's the problem. I think that's what OTT is trying to do, but he's doing it in a way that's making a slot. Uh, I'll, I'll just say this straight up slide. We should have been paying you guys for the percentage for you guys cleaning it, even though that money will go eventually back to you guys because it keeps your workers happy in the meantime. Uh, listen, at the end of the day, what we want is a full company home that is completely specifically for cleaning our money. And, and the problem is if your workers are working for free, like, it's gonna keep it's gonna be hard to keep them motivated in the long term and, and the thing is like that that money will be going back to a home like that's where we have two hundred fifty thousand dollars just sitting there that we want to put towards a home that we can get the washing machines and stuff so we can get the cleaning operation going faster so that we can help both i mean everyone's operations kj's operations your operations our operations everything you know and that money well, is right. going to go to that but keep in mind when the money was given to us none of this change was already here so we were cleaning this stuff slower than the way it is now. And the idea was for us to invest this money into a house. So we were doing it in a way of, you know, this is our contribution towards that house. You guys so we weren't like expecting doing it we any were doing money it? in terms of like cuts or Thank anything fuck. out of that money that we were oh, cleaning. Stop, man. Toby! That was like yeah. our contribution towards this house. We're cleaning this stuff. As long as it was going to the house, we were okay with that. So what is that happening right now still or no? 
well, because of the change, I don't think it's happening right, right, right now. What, we what might put a are we pause about? on it. Well, we might not need the house right now. Like right now, I can buy more washing machines and put it in my house. My house Wait, is not why? even tapped out yet. Wait, why? What happened? Did I miss something? I was gone this entire week. I assume I don't know anything. What happened? Okay, so basically there's baskets now and the, the whole the cleaning stuff. Um, you, you basically load the basket and you don't even touch the washing machines no more. You just need a shit ton in your house. That's it. What? You don't much, have to yeah. keep cycling them over and over and over with no, more cash. I just go straight to my basket, put money in the basket. Um, I come back oh later. I'm I'm getting like five k an hour, twenty four hours, like does over a hundred something thousand. Does that require electricity and wiring by chance? It's a basket. It does. Oh, it's just a well, the oh, basket like... doesn't. The washing machines does. Okay, yeah. Oh there you shit! Go. So it's kind of like an it's like an auto loader. Code lock. Yes. Auto loaders. Okay. So basically, uh, yeah. it's like Minecraft. Does anyone know when the? Does know when furnaces are? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, pardon. Uh, yeah, right, so, we uh, need something up north with the par far yeah, the farmer house need furniture soon, would you? Okay. So how what guys this? how do we Excuse you guys me. have someone rotting around in a box somewhere? Could you guys check that yeah, while we while we do this? Okay, so Benji, do you think we can make gunpowder soon? Yes. I uh, guys, I really want us to be on board here because honestly Perez should be here too. The objective is everything okay now okay I, I don't know what the solution is here sly okay and kj i'm just saying it out loud so that we become a system that depends on each other and there's a use for all of us instead of a oh my god i'm glad i have sly just to clean a little bit of money instead i want it to be like no sly is a fucking important part of the company that generates us income too and not just helps us clean right because i think that that's more meaningful no right okay yeah. so so we need to have everything under the ownership. Everything needs to be under the ownership of the company. Okay. Other than that, there needs to be a cut that comes to the company. Okay. Other, and, and our services at some point, just like weed, should be offered to the outside world too, which where each division can make money as well. Does that, right. does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, for example, in terms of pharma, company gets a cut from every single brick that is sold. Simple as that. Right? Yeah. So, what, what, what about for cleaning? How do, we, how do we reach that point? Like, how much money do we need to generate and give before we can say, okay, every single cut that, you know, the, comp that the company cleans, that we make some money off it too? Well... The oh, best it's not way feasible. to do that would be we get the house, we get the house, and then we basically get washing machines that are company dedicated to you know. So like it, it's the company's and not mine's. Yeah. So I maybe have a solution for a house. Okay. Our house down at Fudge, we're not utilizing. Oh, now really? we're. At all? Now we're no. moving here. Now we're thinking That's... hard. I like that. Because I gotta be honest with you, when I had this talk with uh, OTT and when this changes happen with the HQs and we cannot be on different HQs, we have no use for that house to generate Bitcoin or anything. So that house huh. will kind of just stay there. Uh, I understand that they need a house and uh, we can utilize that house for that operation so we can help out each other, you know? Wait, that's, that's actually huge. And then you guys will be able to share keys and shit like that. Why the hell do we... Why do we not even think about that? Uh, no, we thought new, about that after new all these changes happen, you know? Like, the problem is, like, oh, every day is yeah. a new day it's, and a new thing that happens, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, shit switches up, you know? Yeah. Just gotta Wait, try and what adjust. Do you, what are you guys talking about with the HQ? What do you mean different HQs? So, you cannot be on different HQ apps, basically. Oh, yeah, there's no more double dipping what? anymore. No more double no dipping more double anymore, dipping. Yeah. What? So, you and oh, I... I'm not telling you that's a huge thing, Benji. Yeah, well, you're gonna be on Zaza anyway, so it doesn't matter. Basically, when you're on Zaza and you need to get into a new chip, you need to you have a week cooldown before you can join another one. So, the thing of having different HQs and do different heists with different crews are no longer you know acquired. You kind of like need to find your place and and stay what there. If they so, have extra chips and they just give you a chip. No, it doesn't. No, it's linked to you now. Yeah, it's the connected to your state ID. Specifically clipped. It's now bion ID. bionic, biological. Yeah, that's biochip. Aren't, it's like, basically the DNA chip, basically. 
Bro, half the Zaza chips are literally in my DNA. Wait, what if what if they were in my like my state ID before? No, 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 it'll go reset. It'll go reset. You're you're all cleaned out. Yeah. You're no longer Yeah, like right now, currently I am on no no um HQ. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm only uh, on Anita. So okay. that gives us no reason to keep that house per se in what we're doing. So since they since OTT told me that, you know, like the money we are generating to the pharma should go to the company so the company could buy a house for the cleaning operation. We already have a house. You see what I mean? Okay. That we don't utilize. I, I think, need to I talk to one is, person first huge. before I can Who, say, you know, it's a go. I Who's think... the person you need to talk to? I need to talk to Dom. She's the one who who stands as the owner for the house. Dom? Like Dominique. Uh, Dominique. Very mm -hmm. familiar the name. The yeah, you one know, who's you know dating uh, Ivan's Ivan, wife. You know? Huh, okay. All right, you're saying Benji? I think no matter what, okay. I think this is the only problem, KJ, okay? And I think this is just to keep in mind, and I, I know, Ray, if you agree with me here. The money that's meant to go to the company, I think even when, let's say, for example, how much, what, what was the amount, KJ, per brick? Per brick? Yeah, because I know you had the calculations uh, down, right? Yeah, the like we have, we, it's basically $6 per bag okay. that goes to the company. So, so, so every bag that they sell, guys, all right, it goes to $6 to the company. Brick is 28 there you go. So, so you get twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-eight. One hundred sixty-eight dollars per brick, basically. Okay. So from every every little sale day, something comes to the company, right? And at this point, yeah. you were using all that money to pay off everything for the, the people that are owed, correct? Yeah. Uh, right now, we only owe. Um, I only owe Fred money for five big racks and the investment he did to get the growing pot that was 30k plus five big racks around 50k i have okay. paid off everybody we have basically spent around three four hundred thousand dollars to pay back everything and now the pharmaceuticals aka you guys the company owns like we have 20 we have 40 big racks that you guys own okay so here, in the pharmaceutical say business. us, okay, yeah, we. we. Listen, listen, okay. I think this is the only thing, if you can do it for us, okay? In fact, just do it anyway. I think mm -hmm. the only problem starts stemming out when people do not see uh, money coming in. So instead yeah. of like the whole $6 going to whatever yep. cause, let's make it like 3-3, three, three, you know what I mean? So $3 goes to whatever we need to pay off, and then let's just keep that stream of $3 coming into the company just for pos company. just for posterity you know so it feels okay. like that's still going we still see it and we can still actively like hand it over to groups that need it so it feels like we're all functioning for each other right okay yeah i'm, I'm just saying in that case then it, will f it won't feel like somebody like ott who doesn't really understand the operation because he's new to it he won't suddenly feel like oh my god i need to fix everything because there was one thing that he didn't mention to me and it was the fact that the pushers seem demotivated or some shit. Whereas when I'm up there, they always seem happy, right? Well, they're happy. Exactly. So are, are they demotivated? I, I don't know. Like, is it true? Or what's, how are they feeling? You know um, what it could be? It could be the fact that um, a lot of them was holding on to like maybe 200,000 rolls. And we couldn't keep up with rolls in demand because of how the cleaner was before. So they maybe were feeling a bit demotivated because they had money that they couldn't do anything with, really. Okay. That okay. was one thing. And I think another thing, there's a lot of... It's kind of like, I think, with your crew as well. You know, there's some people are kind of like carrying a lot of load on their shoulders, if that makes sense. You know, like, we are currently four or five people who daily are up and pushing 500 to 1,000 baggies. Then we have people coming in and out. It's kind of like, I, I guess with you as well, it's the same people who do, you know, the money runs every day. Yeah. So, uh, but but they're fine. They're making money. They spend all their money on buying new cars. So they are willing to like push more, you know? But I feel like I need to get some new it, you know, into the pharmaceuticals who mainly focus mm. on pushing weed. So we get some new faces and I have more, you know, more more legs to stand on. Here's the, here's the funny thing, right, Ray? I feel like, 
in this case then then Sly's operation should just be an in-house thing completely. Like, fuck trying to get customers outside because we can't even handle our own load. So, Sly, I think that's shit. I don't. Um, I mean, I think there's a there's a way. Who the fuck's on a bike around this? You guys hear that? Sure. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, I think uh, someone's running a bicycle around this in circles. One more thing. Uh, just a quick little thing. I think what you should say, Benji, in that case, mm -hmm. is that Sly's operation should prioritize the company. But when we are offloaded everything, you know, when, once we've already cleaned all the money, in that case, he takes on clientele from the outside. Like that will business. never be. That will never happen. I think. Do you I, genuinely think we're going to produce so much wash cash that? Uh, yes, know, like cash? I feel. It I is feel. definitely possible. But uh, we need a large injection. Like, yeah. A large one. Because it's not... You, you know what it is, like, right? It's not necessary... With, with, the, with, the, with how cleaning money functions, you can play your part as a company arm by just cleaning our money. Because it's, very, it's a very weird situation. You know what I mean? Your role would pretty much be to be able to pay people in your operation just enough so that they're always happy to do the work and always have a cleaning system that's non-stop right right so that's our bonus our bonus from you is the fact that hey if if the company would like to lose less money you you need to contribute some cash so that we can buy or pay off washing machines and give you better cuts right right so if if things stand the way they are i think that's no problem then you just uh, you know we just have to adjust and say to us to us say to ourselves like okay uh benji board ray we need to take 25 percent cut from everything this week until we hit extra five hundred thousand, blah 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 and then you know from then on we can give you a lower cut for completely you know what i'm saying yeah but because, you do understand that the reason why it is right now the way it is mm -hmm. is because like for example when the whole thing kicked off and ott was like i right, ramp up production it's not like we went to you guys for money. Like I went broke. I used all my money. Some of my boys, they all just put all their money towards it. So, you know, we're trying to get that back too. Like if it's company's yeah. money, then obviously we would, you know, be lenient on that part. But if we're out here using we our own basically. money. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, if these um, washing machines become I mean, the, quote unquote companies washing machines, then obviously this is no, easy I, for I guess us you. To I do, mean, you know? the, the best buy, the best possible case scenario is that we buy out all the washing machines. And you got your boys get their money back, so you guys have spending money. The problem is, I don't know what it is. I don't know how we only are sitting at two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I, I it sounds like a lot of money, but genuinely speaking, maybe what we do is we take uh, some. How much do you think all those washing machines cost, Slay? Uh, I can run a calculation. Can you run a calculation? Get back yeah, to me. Are that? they like twenty five hundred each? Uh, that's before tax. Somewhere, I yeah. can run a calculation. It's fine. So run a calculation for me, and if you can, what, you want to run it now, or do you want to run it when you get home? What do you mean you don't understand I how the money is that, bro? We, it's not that much money from the heist. All the money in the fucking box is from heisting, bro. That's what six I mean, seven. Keep in mind, you guys would hit yeah. like a laundry mat, get like twenty k. Exactly, 20K. it's like it's say, not really that much. Let's say we got eight 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 cash exchanges for forty k each. That's only three hundred twenty k, bro. That's yeah, I that, suppose the, the the thing I'm I'm trying to say though is like if we're taking ten to is it ten percent or fifteen percent? I think it's ten, right? Ten percent of every single operation, and we're also taking five to ten thousand dollars per week from every single person. I mean, I we should eventually be reaching like bigger numbers. We should, but that's because the, each board member has costs that we don't, we're not aware of sometimes. Like, what, what happened with all the event stuff with Mickey? I don't know what OTT pays for. For example, power bills and uh, f fucking um, solar panels and shit, man. If only we had a CFO, you know, like, uh, then it would be clearer. Well, the problem with... The, I'll even say this, Benji, without the jokes that you just made, all right? Like... The problem is it's difficult for me to track the money in the box if I wake up one day and it goes from three hundred thousand dollars to two hundred fifty and people are like, Yeah, we have to buy stuff. Like the board members all have their hands in it, so I can't necessarily keep track of when a board member takes shit out of it unless they literally write down, yo, I took fifty K from this, uh, and they update the document. You know what I mean? 
So uh, maybe I bring that up in the next meeting. Maybe we, yeah. we legitimately just do that. We need like a in and out pretty much, bro. In and out, it's like, easier if we had like one one financial person make that a handles all the money. No, we have a we have a spreadsheet, but the problem is not everyone updates. Yeah, but then you need to find the loophole who's not updating and question that. Anyway, uh, that's just a different topic for a board. Yeah, yeah, uh, I feel yeah. Like it's a board meeting, you know. Um, one more thing I, I I would request if that's a possibility is uh, a PMs, you know, with different departments have like a PM meeting. Yeah, I'm that sorry. I know this is not well. exciting, so we but we needed this, bro. See what everybody's doing and see if everybody's Gucci and if they need anything from the other departments, you know. It could be a good thing to avoid stuff for the future, you know, and keep the communication running. Okay, so... Now let, let, let's let's have a preview here, okay? So Sly, let's say I just did the cash exchange and I got 40k, okay? 40k right. banded cash and I give it to you. What what is your process there? What's the percentage? And where does the money go? The process would be we take it and if we have the money on hand, we pay you out for it instantly. Okay. It would be you're losing 20%. So 40k, I get uh, 32k back, yeah. Whatever 20% right? is, yeah, yes. that's eight thousand. So with the eight thousand dollars, with the twenty percent that you just took from us, right? What do you do with that in cleaning company, in cleaning division? Is that? Well, we use that to buy more shit. No, no, no. What do you do with it? Like, exact. Be explicit with me right now. Like, eight thousand. How much goes to the people that are working? How much? What? What? What, what happens to which thing? Oh, okay. So right now, nobody is really being paid out in terms of profits. Right now, anyway. Okay. We all went into this with the idea that eventually, over time, it's going to pick up and then we'll be able to cake from it. But for right now, everybody's decided, like, you know, all the money is staying in that one stash. And we're using that money to keep trying to keep up with, like, all the pharmaceuticals and everybody else, right? Because as soon as we start paying ourselves out... We're going to need to go back into personal money just to keep up with, like, for example, Nathan or Zulu coming in here with, like, 100K, 200K. Okay. Because I've had times where, like, my so, payout was over 100K, and I've never taken it because if I do, then we can't buy nobody shit. Okay. So you're telling me right now, let's say in that in the example that I gave you, you get $8,000, and you're just using the $8,000 completely to buy new washing machines and shit. No, not new washing machines more roads more shit from people so that we can make more money and keep doing it oh i see you're just rotating the cash you're cycling it yes it just keeps going and going and going and then once we got shit ton of profits then we could decide on okay let's get like 20 more washing machines or let's start paying each other out i see and so that's why that's where our this is where we have that little little fucking block here don't we because we don't understand the, the math behind it there's yeah, no it's, it's good for it's a no, long-term investment yeah, what it is. yeah there's that's no good. Sense, yeah that's pretty much that is good i mean the i i think that's that's where the frustration lies you know we have people that are assuming that we have these short-term profits yet we're investing to a long-term you know the solution here so yeah. uh, i think we just need to talk to ott probably about this so okay what's we'll the thing is it's, it's more like... so it's more so a long-term investment on our end at, at least as of right now right because we're the ones who's like not getting paid out instantly and stuff whereas everybody else is so how much money you... have you cycled so far now <laughs> like, Bro, like like, like really what's <laughs> yeah no no i mean like what's the profit at at the moment like how much is in the box um probably no. like 100k that's it. But, but, like I say, we keep buying more. So we have most of our profits right now is in rolls again. How much? How many rolls? Yeah, so uh, give me a total money. Total money without... Don't, don't, calc, don't separate them. What's the total amount of money you got right now? We have probably like over 300k in that house right now. That still needs cleaning. Uh, no, no, oh, so for almost half a million. Yes. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. And that's just basically profit for cleaning company. But you haven't paid out each other, right? No. I see. That, see, that's the problem so there, like, Ray. How many people do you split the shoot with? Like, how many people are, are in the operation? Do you know? Um, 
I wouldn't even say it's like everybody in the house. It's like a handful of us. Me, Kane, Fibbler, Z, Sebastian. That's pretty much it. Five? Okay. That's not bad. You see, you see, Ray, this is where the problem is. Because they haven't reached the point where they have decided how much do I pay the people working? Who exactly worked to get there? How much of it can go towards paying off a new house? And how much do it goes to individual profit, bro? That shit hasn't been determined at all. That's why I mean, they the, will the never seem like... It seems like the biggest issue here is that the fact that like four of the people he just mentioned are not in the company. And exactly. It's not, a company, it's not a completely company-owned mm -hmm, mm -hmm. business, so it's leading to issues right now. Exactly. So what we need to do is we need to buy out all the washing machines, get them their money back immediately as soon as we can, even if it puts us in like the negative or towards zero, and have them yeah. continue to clean the, the money because in the long term, it'll be better for us and them. The prop, bro. The problem here is they can't. We can't. We can't buy it little by little. You have to buy the operation completely one go. That's 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 what I'm saying. Like I mean, Fuck, the, the smart thing right now is him going immediately, going counting how many washing machines. We do the math. We buy all the washing machines with the 250k we just cleaned, and now we have KJ's new home. We can use that as an operation for extending the business for the company. And boom, we solved two birds with one stone. The company now owns a washing system. And the uh, the boys that worked for all the washing machine, you know, the prices of all that shit, we get their money back. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, but KJ, you need to be specific with the numbers, though, because we need to know who needs to get paid from that section, okay? No, no, no. I have everything written down. So, like, I can show you the spreadsheet. And even the money we generated in through the company, what is company money of that, and what we have used that for as well. What is going through. I have a quick question by the way not to interrupt you KJ but Sly would all your boys be okay if the company bought all the washing machines from you guys they wouldn't care they wouldn't care okay but, but they still want to help the company in some regard because they've been doing this the entire time I, no? yeah okay. yeah they do want should, to help should, the company we should figure something out then Benji because they're going to be left after we buy all the washing machines it's going to be kind of like a thing no where... no you know what needs to happen here right so the next goal is correct you have to we have to buy out all the washing machines okay once every washing machine is company owned, it then turns into you set the percentage that you want to charge to pay out the people working. Okay. And that has to change to company people. And then a percentage of eh, like, when the company, like, let's say if I hand you cash, right? Sly, it's heist money mm -hmm. that doesn't get charged at all. Eventually. No, no, but no, no, no. I'm telling you right now. The... In, Benji, eventually, that's, that's that needs true. to not. But we're overlapping one thing. What do we Which do is? with the boys that once they once we buy um, all the washing machines from them, the boys who are the boys? not company. Uh, honestly, guys, uh, get Benji, a what on we need to talk too. about, we should just take them on. We should hire them for the company. No, motherfucker. Why would you take on people just because they did something, but they're not interested in it, bro? The, the people that are interested, like Sly just said. I mean, that's fine and, uh, fine and dandy if it actually works out. I'm just saying, like, if they if they have no interest in it, I'm not gonna pull in somebody to the to the to the corporation no, without them actually wanting they need it. To have interest in it, yeah. yeah. But I'm saying that they would they would continue in the, if they have interest, they would continue in the cleaning operation under the guise of the company as company members, and it would make things a lot tell you easier what. because we could trust them with information, we could trust them with the operation, we can trust them with everything. You know what I mean? Let's just and, do and, this. And another... Let's just offer them all asset position, and their buy-in is just giving us the washing machine. <laughs> no issue, Jesus nothing. Give Christ. us the washing machine, you in the company, bitch. Benji. I think that's genius. Benji. I think that's actual genius. <laughs> uh, so Bro, Jaden was telling me that he wanted to buy into the company. He'd give me all the racks, bruh. How many? <laughs> you see, that's what I'm saying. I'm just hey, That's what I'm for. Hey, I'm just wondering. Hey, 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 even though it's a good idea, even though it's a good idea, my hey. boys are a bit too smart for that. Fuck. God damn. Can you drop like them a little bit? They're already basically working with the company. They have been for so long now. Like, it's no, nothing's going to change. Okay. So I, I, I think I, that's I like fine, this, bro. Though. So far, we, we came up with solutions. We have cage, three things. We have cages home. We can move that towards the money clean business. Number two. Sly counts up how many washing machines we have. We do the precise calculations on all the, the money that we owe them. We buy all the washing machines at once with the money that we have. Correct. And then we in the number three, we figure out what we do with the entire cleaning operation 
under Slice Boys, and we figure out individually who wants to actually join the company, and we go from there. That's okay, it. am I crazy to think this, Sly? Okay, can like, just bear with me, okay? Just I'm talking about the okay. ultimate result, okay? Once everything mm -hmm. is under the company, when when we do a heist, company does not get taxed when you clean the money. It's full. I give you one million, Benji. you give me one million back. Hold on, hold on, right? Just, I think we we'll talk about that after. Though, no, 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 no. I want him to see because he can say yes or no now, so that we know the ultimate dream, right? So one million dollars I give to you that doesn't get touched, okay? However, if let's say I am a pusher and I want to clean money, I would like to use your services. Outside charges me twenty percent, but with the company I can get fifteen percent. So I go to you, okay? Then from that fifteen percent, ten percent should go to the people that work to clean it. Then five percent company cut. Does that make sense, or am I asking too much? Hundred percent going to the company might be too much for the. So so you think even for the company highest money that's too much, but it can be lower percentage. It can be a small percent, but a hundred percent. I don't I don't see it being viable. Okay, I mean that's good. So especially the, expectation the way is set. things are right now with the with the cops and robberies and shit. Okay, that's fine. Ten percent. But I mean, <laughs> look, if the company owns all washing machines, yeah, and all we have to do is run it, we definitely need to sit down and see how everybody feels about this. Because and at the end of the day, like you got to remember, people need to be motivated to want to go out there and clean all this quote unquote company money. Right. Correct. And if they're going to go out there and fucking get arrested and shit. Trying to clean it and not make any money from it, you got you to gotta see from their perspective, too. OK. All right. So then at least you understand what the ultimate goal is. Right. I think it's not about you not on the. I'm sure you did previously. No, nah, I get but it. Yeah. And I mean, look, me personally, I would do it every now and then for free. But, you, you know, it's not only me. Like, me yeah, alone, that's exactly. going to take forever. Because you could be bored. Six of you could be bored one day and you just want to clean a million for fun and you just do it for free, right? Exactly. Like, okay. It could all depends on, like, okay, the company needs some shit. This is our contribution. We don't need no cut from it. We'll just clean it. And it goes towards that. But obviously, some people are going to feel some kind of way. So Okay gotta keep that in mind so okay then then now we know how to move on for for uh, money cleaning up right what kj so the so this whole payments to buy everything for the company right is the house and everything yeah. paid for or no no so that's not completely company but the racks are company right um yeah all the racks all the like everything that is inside the house belongs to the company Every rack, everything we dry on, everything we grow on, everything like that is owned by the company. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay. So eventually, yeah. we will have reach that ultimate level of owning both the building and uh, the gadgets, right? Yeah. So that is, that was my main goal from the get-go, to make sure that everything was pharmaceutical, aka okay, the company owned. Okay. So, so right now, we own 40 racks, like big ones. Uh, the small ones, I haven't paid for those. So we have 40 big ones. So we can drive five bricks on those, you know? So five times 40. Then, I, then I, Ray, are you there? Did he just say he's going to be... Can he say it? I can put it like this. Five of those racks with the blueprint and, and, and the wood we need for that cost you roughly 25k. Okay, then this is what we do. Like, KJ, like, uh, we'll confirm this with Ray later when he comes back, okay? So the mm. ultimate goal right now is we make sure that company always gets a cut even while you're paying people for the stuff. Paying back? Okay, okay. okay. Then your your goal as a project member of the company, not just of pharma, is to mm -hmm. bail all those washing machines out. Right. Okay? That's your goal. Our goal as a team is to pay out everything that Sly has paid for the washing machines. And then after that, it is to pay you and people that own each house. So you will be the last person that we pay. And that's where all the, you know, every chunk of money from heist money, from cleaning money, any any profit that we we, we, we get in return is to go to clean yep. you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Yeah. 
So you want yep. to split the, the $6 into like three and three then. So I I, yeah. I keep the half to pay people out and I take the other half to give to you Correct. guys. Correct, yes, yeah, exactly. So, right, right, you so want that on a weekly basis or? Yeah, weekly, daily, whatever is fine. I think make it weekly so it looks like a little bit chunky, right? Yeah, 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 it looks yeah. like a little bit chunk. So then in, in the end, at the end, like for example, we have heist money of 250K. If it was only 250k for the washing machines, we just give all that right now. You, you get what I'm saying? I think that's like genius. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. I'm very happy. You know, we're gonna make things go, bro. Like at least the only thing right now is what the fuck does Moonshine do? Moonshine is fucked right now. According to Fresh, he's pushing weed. I think he's uh, pushing weed. <laughs> I think Perez yeah. was stuck with it. He stuck. No, he legit stuck with, uh, with Moonshine for like two, three weeks. Yo, and then he realized still that do it. He realized that it's, he's actually been fucking him. Like I'm pretty sure he's been losing money almost. And no yo. one else brings him like the materials he needs. You know that that shit like he actually needs from people because no one's running it anymore. Yeah, that's I think he's the only one who does it on the daily basis, and he's kind of like waiting to it to bloom again. You know, but. He's been pushing weed as well a little bit, and uh, I think he does his runs. But right, so I think it's the overdue time to have like a big meeting with the board and the PMs as well. You know, to get every section and what's going on and what's happening and stuff like yeah. that. Oh, trust me, I think this one, this meeting today has been very good. If if I yeah, understand, yeah, yeah, which, yeah. I wish we could directly convey what we talked about here though to OTT and Mickey. You know, bro, it is. Yeah. Not that, bro, I don't, it's, I don't it's think clear. Mickey really cares too much, but at least no, OTT, no, no, it doesn't know. matter because OTT will talk to uh, Sly. To me, yeah. yeah. So, like, you, you, okay, you, but you what, the what was OTT's things. what was OTT's argument with all this? Uh, OTT didn't have an argument. It's just he had a little bit of a misunderstanding with KJ because he wanted to create a system. He wanted to change the system because he was trying to figure out how to make more money for you for cleaning. Whereas all KJ wanted was let me keep the system the same. Just tell me you want money. You get it. Mm. So, yeah. so OTT was essentially trying to solve something that didn't need a solution. It just needed a request. So now we just made the request and said, instead of using all the money to pay off people, essentially right now, please give us some of the money, half of it, so that we can start thinking about how to buy out all the washing machines, right? When did, when did OTT uh, do this, by the way? Just when I'm aware on the timeline. A few days ago, uh, maybe? Saturday. Dragon? Okay, so no, we need uh, to talk to Dragon it's too. Tuesday now, right? Okay. All right. Uh, I think this meeting is done. Is there anything else we need to talk about? No. How is it going with this manner shit? And um... yeah. So security, KJ, do you need an extra gun or what? Because you know how to handle that. Do you know what you need to do up north? Uh, yeah. You you cannot rely on black ops from NA when it comes to shit going on in EU, bro. So I think we should give you one more gun. And you have at least two people staking the place out, making sure that you're ready to bop anybody that comes after you. If you want, maybe you can yep. just test with one first, but get a little bit looser with that one gun. You know what I'm saying? All right. All we need to do is damage people that are trying to get you. But if you do, if you think one is too little, Ray, what do you think? Two so guns? So what are they doing? Like, how do they operate? Is it like... They're going cars, for civilians. Convoy, two and two and two, six guns. It's like, have you, have, they, have yeah. they come to Sandy yet? I don't, I don't know. know. Oh. Um, they came to Sandy, what, yesterday? I think Zulu had a fight with one of them. Right. And then we picked uh, up Zulu. I but that's go. all I heard about Sandy. Do they steal the chips and stuff? Or how, how is that working? And if you buy a new chip... I mean, they, it, you... they can steal a chip, but it does nothing for them. So, you know. Okay, okay. So you I just mean, get I, a new chip. Basically, you're just you're losing on. 3K, basically. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it doesn't do Wait, anything maybe? that you need to wait so was for. Reggie part of it? Yo, boys, you can join the meeting, man. Nah. We're, we're done with the uh, crazy shit. Reggie? Sorry about that, guys. Thank you. Jaden, come on. Ah, fuck. I don't know. Were you around during the, uh, we the shit? We were talking about Russia. Uh, Reggie, were you, were you around when things were going on with, uh, with the Manor boys? You said, like, Farmer got hit and shit like that? So oh. what's the, how does it look, bro? Would like a couple of more guns help out? Like, 
because it's so unreliable to have the black ops team is not enough people dude i'll be honest with you it's fucking no, I mean, me lance and fucking Jaden at the moment you know it's cooked well here's what you gotta do essentially right is you know that they're gonna hit sandy okay uh, it, it's inevitable you guys can drive around in cars chasing each other all the time you know that they're gonna come up to sandy armor makes money so having people still push is, is the better idea because you can have a look now and you got Cypher sitting at 79 again. Mm -hmm. She was all the way down to 70. Why the fuck are the Manor Boys doing the fucking Cypress work? Are they in the bed with Lang? No. So we should be still pushing that while they can't fucking push. Push them down even further and just keep doing our thing. Knowing full well they're going to come up to you guys. Uh, to the pushes up in Sandy and smack them around there. So let them keep coming. They're eventually you're gonna stop coming there you're still there pushing and making money and then next thing they're gonna start to try and do the same and push on their own thing and essentially they've given up right yeah makes sense. or you just can just keep rolling around in cars trying to find them and losing fucking guns and all that kind of shit getting fines just wait for them to come up to you fuck them you know that they will come and they did okay That's listen. Why i was roaming around to watch here's the difference though okay just so that you guys know swan who's part of the company, right? Got fucking kidnapped today. And basically, there's going to be a bolo out for them. Okay? So, at least there's a little bit more cop pressure on them instead of us, right? But so, I mean, guys, th this is simple. This was a problem that was always going to happen. You've got a lot of inexperienced people pushing. The company has a lot of goddamn papegas. Where the generals are not around. The lieutenants are not around. I don't know. It's up. Uh, no. Listen, it's up to your Benji. experience, man. Well, is it much if Maxine, Freya, and uh, who else? Swan? Swan comes here? Yeah, I mean, like, we're almost done soon, but we can talk about, uh, for a little bit, I guess. Sure. Uh, I, I think one rule that should get put in place is no war starting on the weekend. <laughs> Hold on. I feel like that was an old Simple. rule. The meeting's almost done, but... Yeah, it was. Bro, it I'm, was. Telling, I'm telling you right now, boys. I'm sorry. KJ, Reggie, you guys handle this, bro. I, I don't know why I need to teach you how to do security shit, bro. What the fuck? Well, you don't need to teach us to do that. I've been helping the farm boys and telling them, but then, again, I shouldn't also be the one that's doing patrols out there. I'm KJ, a very sort it out, KJ. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. So, really? no, why are you going to put this on KJ? Because KJ can solve all these problems. Been around. But yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I just I've call already told you that... and say, what the fuck is the issue? And just fix it and say, yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've already told you the, the best to KJ, course bro. of action for it. I mean, hell, if you want to throw fucking 10 so people what up, is they're this pushing over, at the one time. Uh, what are they going to do? They're going to okay, come push this 10 is all, people? Fuck this no. is over OTT buying. He was trying to buy some chips from a vending machine, but it just unfortunate. He bought, tried to buy it from the money order spot. Then he got fucking hit uh, by none other than Terry. Oh, rap, fuck. Okay. Yeah. So he got robbed of his gun. And then basically Sorry. turned into a scuffle and a weird war. How what much does a car gun run you? Like, what is this over? 25k? Like, 25k. Well, no, it was a legal gun. So it was oh. um, 10k. And basically, OTT just asked back for it and 5k because of the, them robbing him for other shit as well that was in his pockets. Yeah. And they turned that down. So. Okay. And then now Swan got her gun stolen too. Okay. So they have targeted civilians over and over again. Man. So you yeah, know. But they've been doing that for like the last three months. That's what they're doing. Robbing senior bunch like on shift, you know, like they've been robbing everything they can get over basically. Yeah. But the harsh reality is boys like EU just weak at the moment and we just don't have people for it. I, yeah, I can't, you, I can't. You mean this time or at the end of the In storm? about four hours, bro. Oh, In about know. four hours. I'll pray yeah. for this storm, yeah. Mm -hmm. basically what we need to do is build a fortress around this time you know so if they want to do something we have somebody to clap back basically I, I mean, it's, it's, listen to be I'm... honest the simple thing was right mm -hmm. is, this, is the fact that you know when they're all awake shit happened and, and if you want to clap back at them it's going to have to be like what we used to do and if we're going against someone that's at that time they all need to start waking up at that time if not then just let it be uh, I mean, I mean that, that. you know, Ray, that's what I kind of have like a tough time with, bro. It's you see, I kind of agree. I kind of agree with you, Reggie. 
However, the, the aggressor was not us. You know, yeah, we pressed to become to make it into a war, but the aggression came from, you know, unfortunate timing, bro. What oh, do you mean? I mean, the, the, uh, the robbing is a time no, thing, no, right? No, 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 because last time I had a role in Seaside, right, Ray? Okay. If 